Hey guys, ASMG here. So for this review, I'll be reviewing Tag Team Byakuya, who in my opinion is the best red SAD unit. There are other red units out there who have high SP, but they lack Frenzy, which Byakuya does have. He also has two killer advantages, which are Aranka and Asparta. So overall, he'll be doing an extra 60% damage to Asparta, because they're both considered Aranka and Asparta. So for this review, I'll be reviewing his SAD build, hybrid build, and CDR build for PvE. And for PvP, we'll be looking at his SAD build and hybrid build. So his stats are stamina 775, which is not bad. Attack of 549, which is pretty good. 290 defense, which is pretty high. 271 focus, which is also pretty high. And 541 SP. So all these 6 star builders will be in the description below. All these were obtained by Bleach Brave Souls FYI. I highly encourage you guys to check out the website, it's pretty informative. So starting with the SAD build, we've got Headband of Justice with 20% SP, a 2017 news card with 10% SP as its second effect, and the Super Spirit Cane, and all SAD links. So we're doing the 4 star Renji Raid on Expert, and we'll see how he plays. So he is a melee character, so he does about 500 damage each hit, and he's got decent speed as well. First strong attack is more of a close range move. Second spin some swords, and third is a massive beam that hits really really hard. So, so does his first strong attack. So with his normal attack, he actually hits twice instead of once. And the string is 4 hits. He does have the potential to one-shot these guys. Same with all these other strong attacks. So as you can see this guy hits really really hard. So it looks like the first strong attack can't one shot these tankier guys. Yeah, that first strong attack is something else. So his only rangy strong attack move is that third one. The first and second are more of a close one. With friends, he's an absolute beast. Almost. So it looks like the first strong attack has about 180 degree range, it's not a 360. Just everything in front of him. So as you can see with this raid, it's, this character is pretty easy. I wouldn't be surprised if you can auto it, but I don't have a Hajiki Zai on at the moment. I'll definitely test it out. Alrighty, so boss time. So I don't have a tension tire, so I doubt he will. He'll nuke the boss. So he's got a pretty cool animation on it. So it hits for 2k each. And it, it didn't even one shot the mobs. Which sucks to be honest. But with attention play it definitely will. Yeah, that third strong attack is something else. Took like nearly two buffs of his health. Unfortunately, we didn't get a drop. However, I'm pretty sure we finished under 3 minutes. Yeah, so 2 minutes 41. So next we'll look at the hybrid build and see how that plays. So for his hybrid build, I kept the Headbound Justice, the 2017 New Year's card. I don't have the best NAD gear. I do have double red chappies, however, I believe that Byakuya is not a chappy character due to his, the balance of his attack and SP, as well as his frenzy ability. So I just put on a 3-star glove. In terms of links, we got a strong attack damage link, 
5 star friends each of has got 16% normal attack damage and 12% strong attack damage and 6 star has 18% and 16% and we'll see how he plays alright so this time he does 800 to 900 per here first strong attack about a thousand per here still one shots him Second is the same thing, but however it doesn't one-shot the more tankier guys. Oh, we got hit pretty hard there. And the third one hits for about 900 per hit. So still a devastating character with the hybrid build. Especially with the increased normal attack damage. I wish that they gave him more range on his normal attack damage. I feel like it's too short. Which is both a problem in PvE and PvP. Are we gonna finish this quicker than the SAT build? I'm honestly not sure, just because we got hit at the start. But it should be roughly the same. Try to finish him off quickly. Alrighty, boss time. So again, I'm not gonna nuke the boss. I think this run may be quicker. I think the SAT build was about 2 minutes 40. So 2 minutes 18. Definitely faster. So next we'll check out the CDR build. So for his CDR build, we bring back the Super Spirit Cane. And we got 12% recharge time, 12% recharge time. And Frenzy Pyakia has got 10% recharge time. However, we're sacrificing 2% recharge time for 18% strong attack damage which my, in my opinion is a really good bargain and he also has 12% recharge time so all up he's got 46% recharge time which is nearly half alrighty first round attack 5 second cooldown with 800 damage per hit 9 second cooldown with about 900 per hit 13 seconds with 800 per hit and his moves are still devastating. They still have a potential to one shot, as you can see. And we always, it's like we always got one strong attack available. So I spam all three, and then the first one's ready. So I'm gonna clear it fast on the hybrid build. I assume we would. I'm happy to hit both of them. Absolute machine. Alrighty, 
I thought it would be boss time. Oh, unfortunately we got frozen. Twice, so I don't think we're going to finish it quicker. Well, that sucks. This character is really crazy. So the hybrid build got 2 minutes 18, however this time we got frozen twice, which is about like 8 second loss. So if we didn't get frozen, we would have bet the hybrid build, definitely, because we got 2 minutes 20. But next I want to try out if we can order the raid with full recharge time and a Hajikizai. So for the auto build, I got rid of the Spirit Cane and put in my Hajikizai, which has 40% stamina. So now Byaki has about 1100 HP. And we got this Orihime, who's got 25% recovery. All recharge time with the Frenzy Byakuya. So I'm just going to leave an auto and let it play, and hopefully he can complete it by himself. Alright, so I pressed auto, and let's see how he goes. So instantly with the strong attacks, which is really good. Hasn't been touched yet. The only thing I'm scared of is the fire and the freeze. That was nice. So far, so good. So we got 598 HP back, so basically 600. Honestly, I'd rather be hit by fire than freeze. Because if there's a massive pack... Oh, we got paralyzed. So if there's a massive pack and we're frozen, we can take heaps of damage. So we got 200 HP from that little... So it's back on full health. Yeah, we got hit pretty hard there. That was a nice time with this strong attack. Nice. So this is the last section before the boss. There's the freeze. I think it should be fine. Ooh, he's in danger. Nice. So he should be nearly full health. Oh well, if he gets that green, I think he should be full health. So here we have no friend as well. Should take that into consideration. I'll just skip it. So I'm pretty sure if we had a friend, we should be fine. I'll just end it here. So we've put on all the buffs at the start with the attack, focus, defense, and with a friend, especially a friend like Kimpachi or anything. You can definitely order this with just Byakuya himself. 
So next we'll move on to PvP. So for PvP, we'll be starting off with the SAD build. We'll do two runs with SAD links, and then two runs all dodge. Then we'll move on to the hybrid build, but we'll do the same thing. So two hybrid links, and then all dodge. We'll see how it plays. But I'll quickly show off my team. So we got Tag Team Yakia. We got the Headband of Justice, the 2017 News card, and the Spirit Cane. All SAD links, except for Friends of Ukiora. Here we're sacrificing 2% strong attack damage for 9% dodge rate. So technically it's like a 1 in 10 chance of taking no damage whatsoever. Which in my opinion is a really good bargain. Especially for PvP. My second character is Segundo Tabu Ukiora. We got our Kane, Headband of Justice with 20% SP and Tenshin Tai with 40% stamina and all SAD links. My third character is Uruka. So she's got Tenshin Tai with 40% stamina, the Super Spirit Cane and the Commemorative Coin with 12% stamina and all SAD links. So we're using the attack strategy for extra SP and prioritizing our strong attacks. And because Tag Team Byaki is in the lead, we'll be only versing the green units. So we'll start off with this Ikaku. Alrighty. So we got two attribute advantages. So I think this Ikaku has damage reduction. However, Tag Team Byaki are taking down with ease. So and that hero Mario didn't get his special off, which I'm happy about. So, so far, one out of one. And next, we'll verse this Kenpachi. So, unfortunately, his red candy has an attribute advantage on us. However, that green candy got destroyed. And so did Bus Lord Ichigo. So 2 out of 2. So next we'll move on to all dodger links, excluding the Frenzy Ukiora, and I'll pretty much skip this. So just real quick I'll show off what I've put on Byakuya. I've basically kept the exact same gear and changed the links. So we kept Frenzy Ukiora like I said, 11 dodge, 11 dodge. So all up he's got 31% dodge. And we'll see how it goes against this Uruka. Alright, so we got two attribute advantages, which is really good. So Tarant Team Yaku actually destroyed Uruka. She did do some decent damage, however, Uruka is a really good SAD character. I was actually scared that she might kill him. So another one. Really? So I'll skip this as well. Alright, so we got three attribute advantages. However, I'm scared of Blue Kenny to be honest. And wow, that third strong attack did 50% damage. If nothing goes wrong, we should win. Yeah, we pretty much lost. Yeah, Blue King is just a monster. So unfortunately, one out of two. But it was really, really close. So next, we'll move on to the hybrid build. So to quickly show off my team, four hybrid Byakuya. We got the Headband of Justice with 20% SP, 2017 New Year's card, and the commemorative coin instead of the glove. So we're sacrificing here 10% attack for 22% stamina and 10% SP, which is better for PvP in my opinion. I've kept Frenzy Ukiyora and we got Frenzy Ichigo 6 star and Frenzy Ichigo 5 star. So next up is Danga Ichigo, we got double Chappy with 20% attack and the Shower Shield with 40% stamina and all NAD links. And for Kendo, we have double Chappy with 20% attack and Hajukuzai with 40% stamina and all NAD links 
So this time I'll be changing the strategy from attack to attribute and we'll go against this red Kenny. Alrighty, so Tag Team Byaku is up against Ukiora. Wow. He had no issues whatsoever. So he's fighting Bungai, where Dung has the attribute advantage. But he got help from other people, which is really, really good. So next up, we'll look for a... We'll go against... You know what, we'll go against this 1130 Dunga. Alrighty, so he's up against Kendo. So double Kenny team. Oh wow, that Kenny getting hard. So unfortunately, Red Byakuya got destroyed. So that's 1 out of 2 for the hybrid build. So next, I'll stack up old Dodge and see how he plays. Shouldn't be too different, however. So, for his build, I just remove the two Frenzy Ichigos, both 6 star and 5 star, and just put in Dodger Links. Everything else is the same for all three characters. And we'll go up against this Kendo and see how he plays. Hopefully, we can get our revenge. Alrighty, so they got double Kenny and Baragon. I'm actually scared of that blue Kenny, to be honest. I think that green Kenny has damage reduction because Biaki is not in the hard. So that's not our special. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna get destroyed. Yeah, very, very close game. So unfortunately, we lost. Alright, thanks for the ticket, I guess. Alright, last battle. We'll go against this 761. And again, double Kenny and Baragon. So this time it's a well, I was say even battle, however, Kendo did win. So one out of two for the hybrid dodge build. Which is not bad. So overall, both the SAD build, hybrid build, and CDR build for PvE are really, really good. We got through the raid faster with the CDR build if we didn't get frozen. So I'll probably use a CDR build for PvE. You can also auto four star raids on expert, which is really, really good with a friend and their bonuses at the start. For PvP, I'd say definitely use the full SAD build and SAD dodge build over the hybrid build. He hits like a truck and he, he has the potential to take out green kennies if they don't have damage reduction and any other green unit. He can take out Ikaku and Zenbon Zakura. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Bleach Bear Souls content and enjoy your day.